Hey there, it's Aaron. In this video, I'm going to do some restoration of the image that is on our screen here. The things I'm going to do are get him straightened up in the shot, take care of the horrible border that is around him. I'm going to almost instantly enhance and colorize the image using Photoshop neural filters, and then probably in the end, use Adobe Generative Fill to create a background for this fellow that's going to give the image some dynamics and also help him to come to life a little bit. So it's all going to happen really quickly too. Photoshop makes it so easy. So I hit C to bring up my crop tool so that I can first go ahead and straighten him. I'm sort of straightening him based on the position of his mouth here going horizontal across and I'm bringing in the corners because there's a decent amount of, we'll say, white space around him, I can bring it in nice and tight here without really destroying the... He still fits nicely in the shot is what I'm trying to say. So, like so, all of a sudden now we have him very prominent, quite a figure almost, quite striking, and now well centered in the shot. Got rid of a lot of the garbage around there. He's, he's already looking a little bit more modern, we will say. So now we have the crease paper. He's washed out with color. And let's see what we can do with some neural filters. So there are two beta filters that I'm going to show you that are pretty awesome. I think their names will tell you what they do. The first one is Colorize, and the other one is Photo Restoration. So I'm just going to click the two of those on there. I'm not going to go through the settings of them. Do that in another video. So quite a difference. It really does seem to bring him to life once he has some skin tone happening. Now right now it looks quite washed out because of the color of his white shirt and this very pale blue background. It's not doing him a lot of justice. But I think that we have definitely improved his life situation. I notice that there's some discoloration down here we might tear take care of that momentarily here but for the time being why don't we go ahead and I'm going to my options would be to use a select smart select object or I'm just going to select subject here and it will should give us a nice um, masking all the way around him so we'll invert this selection now so now it's the blank canvas space that we're going to be filling and I'm going to try something like uh, forest in the background. It could be interesting to put him in a quasi informal setting like a backyard barbecue or something like that. But it's asking a lot of the AI to do that and also interpret it from the era that he's in. So that isn't terrible. That isn't bad. None of them are really terrible. They're not fantastic, but I'm going to just try another generation. See if we can get another set that looks maybe just a little bit better. What I am noticing here is that in many cases you will see the AI put a, almost like an aura of a border around the figure, and it hasn't done that in this case, which is great. Not too bad. I don't like the tree in front. That looks decent enough. I mean, so in these images, it kind of looks like he's taking a selfie almost with the angle of things. But let's just look at where we started here. We came from this, and now we're here. So I think that we've definitely done him some justice. We've given him some personality. He looks a little bit, it's the same facial expression, but I feel like he just has a little, little bit more life and joy happening in this version. So that happened so fast right before your very eyes. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, then like and subscribe to encourage me to make more of them. And with that, I will see you the next time.